by World News. Ten young men under arrest in the suspected hazing death of a college student in Louisiana. The LSU freshman died after attending a fraternity pledge event called Bible Study. Here's ABC's Steve Osinsami. One by one today, the frat brothers accused in the September hazing death of this LSU freshman were led away in handcuffs. Their lawyers were upset it had to be so public. They're going to parade these kids up this walkway and into that facility into Paris prison. That's not necessary. Nine of the ten young men from Phi Delta Theta are charged tonight with misdemeanor hazing. But 19-year-old Matthew Nawkin, who witnesses say was the most aggressive that night, is also accused of negligent homicide, a felony. All of us regret a tragic loss in the case, uh, and uh, wish that could be repaired very easily, but it can't. 19-year-old Max Groover died after what they called a Bible study September 13th. Pledges were asked questions about the fraternity, and police say that Nawkin and two others forced them to drink 190 proof alcohol when they got the answers wrong. A coroner's report tonight says that Groover's blood alcohol level was .495, six times the legal driving limit. Police say he was passed out on a couch for at least nine hours, that they checked on him during the night, and in the morning he woke up with a weak pulse. On Facebook, his mother wrote, hashtag stop the hazing, my son is dead now, adding that you brothers will have to live with it every day for the rest of your lives. So far, attorneys for at least two of the accused fraternity brothers deny all wrongdoing tonight. David? Steve, thank you.